Many companies have been really trying everything to get their workers to come back to the office. Many are still working from home after the pandemic. And now really big names like Meta and Google want workers back in the office at least three days a week. Other companies like Salesforce have been trying to incentivize people to come back by donating to charity every time their employees come in. All of that is news the city of San Francisco has been wanting to hear. It's been plagued by vacant offices and tech layoffs. And it would mean foot traffic downtown, where small businesses have really been struggling. Currently, workers are spending less on businesses near where they work. A study by WFH Research Group shows work from home policies have cost the city billions of dollars after a nearly 38% reduction in its in person workforce. As Max Darrow reports, one small business owner is hopeful the push to bring workers back would mean more revenue. And good. Just below okay. several high rise office buildings in San Francisco, back one last time. you'll find Amber Wilcock at her office, the outdoor training facility called LuxFit. We specialize in personal training and group fitness, but we also offer open gym memberships. Ten. She appreciates the clients who come to her facility, many of whom are people who live or work in the area, the East Cut neighborhood. But she says they're often busier on the select days of the week where companies have people working at the offices. There's really no one around here except for um, the residents. And then those like two days a week when you've got consistent people coming in, when you've got like BlackRock coming in twice a week, sometimes people are coming from Meta twice a week. You know, return to office in this area would create more foot traffic, which would be fantastic for us to continue to build our member base. A major push for that is starting to unfold. Some big companies are moving towards less remote work and more time back in the office. Google informed employees this month it will start to include badge tracking in its hybrid three day a week office policy, and attendance may be included in performance reviews. Meta recently announced it will require all workers to be in the office for three days a week starting in September. And Salesforce hopes to entice remote workers to come back into the office this month for two weeks, offering $10 donations to charity per day they did. But getting workers back into the offices in San Francisco is more of a challenge than in many other parts of the country, says Jim Wonderman, president and CEO of the Bay Area Council. The trend to return to work has been upward. But it's been slow and it's been steady. San Francisco has the highest number of remote work eligible jobs in the country at over 50%. However, he thinks with more major companies pushing for more in person work days, smaller ones will have to follow suit. I mean, the really big companies are, are clearly the trendsetters. And if their employees are coming back, it's going to force the smaller and mid sized company who depend on the business from those companies to also come back. If that happens, the economy benefits from that. The small businesses certainly the most. He pulled back. At LuxFit, Amber says that benefit would come from a key part of their formula for success, foot traffic. Our facility is such an attraction. It's such an amazing community to be a part of that the more people that walk by, the more people will want to join. And that would be really helpful with returning to office. Consistency, the common theme, a component of healthy practices that her business helps to build as well as one for her business's health.